What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm putting my Ford calibration, my Corsa intake, and my Corsa exhaust to the test. Today's video is gonna be awesome and it's gonna be super fast and we're recording all of this in Mexico. Absolutely. That could only mean one thing. I'm preparing for my drag race with Mitchell Watts next week at Super Celebration. If you recall, last year at Super Celebration East, me and Mitchell Watts went head to head with his 2.7 and my 2.3, both untuned. And let's just say I didn't win. But this year I have the Ford calibration. I have the Corsa intake and the Corsa exhaust. So we thought it was fitting to get a couple test hits in here to see if maybe I have a fighting chance against Mitchell Watts. Let's do it. But before we start testing and seeing if we've gotten faster with all of those mods, mm -hmm. let's take a look back at the previous video to see what my Bronco did base before I added any aftermarket parts. Check it out. I had an excuse to go fast. Pedal to the metal. There we go. Good. Mm -hmm. I think the most boost I got was 19. Okay. Two, we ran a 1097 in the eighth with a 289.60 foot. Okay. Then what it did after the calibration Ready? Mm-hmm. Let's do it. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. wow. That, you can this feel the difference. Too good. Wow. Okay, we did a 266 60 foot and a 1036 eighth mile. I mean, that is a substantial gain. We're going to compare that to today's video with all these other mods to see if I got Faster. Are you ready? I am ready. Let's do this. Oh yeah. Are you ready for this? I am ready. Do you think we're gonna see a difference? I certainly think we are gonna see a difference from our just basic tune. Um, now, since we've added the intake and the exhaust, I would expect to pick up something. I hope so because Corsa does claim like additional horsepower and all that, but I didn't know if it was enough where you're gonna actually see a difference in the numbers of the draggy. I'm figuring it is an intake and that's, you know, minimum performance and just a cat back exhaust. So that's minimum performance. But when we compound both of those pieces onto a tune, I think we're gonna gain a little bit from it. Okay, I can take anything. Let's do it. I mean, my goal is to beat Mitchell Watts. Well, no better time than right now. Let's do some tests. Let's do it. You know, that was fun and all. I agree. But I think we can try something else to go a little faster. You know what I do too. Are we thinking the same thing? I think so. Let's take the doors off. Let's do it. We have the doors off. Oh, we yeah. have the top back and I think everything is out of here. So we don't have to worry about anything flying out. Now we have less weight, mm -hmm. but the aerodynamics probably isn't going to be ideal. If we were kind of trapping a little bit higher speed, I would say that the aerodynamics would play a little bit more of a role. But because we're really kind of just making it to like the 70 mile an hour range, I think the loss in weight is going to benefit us much better than the aerodynamics. Okay. I need all the help I can get because I have to beat Mitchell Watts. I'm telling you, we're going to I have do this. to do it. So let's try it out. Ready? I'm ready. Let's do this. Hit it. extremely surprised at the results that we found today. So um, just to kind of go over a brief brief overview, our pre-tuned numbers for our 60 foot was 289, where our 0 to 60 was 899, and our eighth mile was 1097. So that's just like a baseline. Your, your numbers might be faster because you don't have, you know, added bumpers or 35s or whatever, but that is our baseline run. So then we went back and took a look at just the two numbers. Those two numbers took our 289 uh, 60 foot down to a 266. 
60 foot, so we had some gain with just the tune. Uh, with our 0 to 60 drop from 899 to 813. So we're really starting to, you know, with just the tune kind of make up some, some performance there. And then went from a 1097 to a 1036. I'm really interested in seeing how these added modifications, the Corsa Air Intake yep. and the Corsa Exhaust, mm -hmm. they claim it, you know, produces more power mm -hmm. and you have a little bit more performance, but do our results reflect that? All right, well, here we go. So with the door, yeah, 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 here we go. That's my drum roll. So with the doors on and the top up. So our zero to 60 went from 266 with just the tune to a 260 even. So we did pick up a little bit mm -hmm. on the 60 foot. Uh, as far as our zero to 60, we went from 813 to an 810. So still picking up time, zero to 60. And then as far as our eighth mile goes, we went from 1036 to 1034. So we did gain some time there, but I think this truck is running out of turbo and top end. Um, and I really think that these performance mods are helping your 0 to 60 and kind of like the, the first half of this eighth mile, but it, all three of these eighth mile times ended up at between 69 and 70 mile an hour. But there's still improvement there yes. from just the regular tune, so that's good to know. I agree. But oh, here we go. How was it with the doors this, off? This is the spicy one of the group here. So we did everything we just did that we told you about, except we decided to kind of test weight versus aerodynamics. Those results are our 60 foot from. So real quick, just the best we got with our tune and all the course of performance was 2 2.60 for 60 foot. We dropped that down to a 257. So our 60 foot time actually, you know, did it, pretty well. Yeah, it, it did better. It did better. So here's where it kind of gets a little funky. Our zero to 60 time went from an 810 to an 826. So we actually lost a little zero to 60 with taking the doors off. And then as far as our eighth mile time goes, it went from a 234 I'm sorry, a 1034 to a 1035 at the same mile an hour. So I'm really thinking. Which is about the same. I mean, you're going to get a little bit of change. You'll get some inconsistencies there. But literally to me, the only gain that we had by removing the weight over the aerodynamics was in the first 60 foot. And I will tell you, being in this vehicle at 70 mile an hour with the top back and no doors, there is a lot of turbulence inside that cabin, mm -hmm. and that makes a little bit of sense to me. I just figured that the aerodynamics wouldn't play such a part until we started getting into the higher range of trap speeds or mile an hour. Here's the trick. Is Mitchell going to show up with some stuff done that I don't know about? Well, if he does, maybe we got to do some other things. I don't know if we got to take the spare tire off, if we got to uh... do some other lightweight modifications to keep the aerodynamics up. That's why I keep you around. I You're know. thinking with the you want to stay tuned. You don't want to miss this whole experience with Mitchell Watt. I'm going to get Jim to work and have him be creative on how I can lose weight but not lose aerodynamics. So you never know. I might show up and Buttercup be completely different looking. Who knows? Maybe we come up with different data, but we'll find out. Hey, you might even gain some time if you just kick me out of the passenger seat. Bye! <laughs> Till next time, guys. Buckle up, Buttercup.